What is a set? A set is a collection of things known as members or elements. These elements can include anything at all. For example, this is the set of things I ate for dinner last night, and this is the set of my favorite animals. Typically, a set is defined by giving a property or characteristic that all and only the elements of a set have in common. For example, this is the set of blue shapes on screen, and this is the set of square shapes on screen. Numerical sets have elements that are numbers. For example. This is the set of natural numbers from one to ten, and this is the set of prime numbers that are less than ten. Both of these sets have a finite amount of elements. However, you can also have sets with an infinite amount of elements. The set of even numbers is an infinite set, and the set of positive multiples of five is another infinite set. It isn't possible to write down all of the elements of an infinite set because there are too many of them. So instead, the symbols dot 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 are used to show the set continues to infinity. So far, sets have been defined in terms of properties their elements share, but you can also have sets in which the elements don't share any common property. In this case. You have to specify exactly which elements are included in the set. Placing parentheses around the elements of a set is a useful way of showing this. Let's call this set Set A. Then this symbol means that three is an element of A, and this symbol means that ten is not an element of A. Two sets that have the same elements are equal. It may not be obvious at first glance that two sets are equal, because of the way they have been defined. For example, set A is made up of these numbers, and set B is the set of all prime numbers between one and ten. Two, three, five, and seven. Are all the prime numbers between one and ten? So set A equals set B. A set A is a subset of a set B, even only if every element in A is also in B. For example, the set A of prime numbers between one and ten is a subset of set B of natural numbers from one to ten. Because each element in A is also in B. However, B is not a subset of A, because some of its elements, namely the numbers one, four, six, eight, nine, and ten, are not in set A. Actually, in this case, set A is also a proper subset of B. Set A is a proper subset of B, even only if every element of A is an element of B, and there is at least one element in B that is not in A. Finally, we should also mention the empty or null set. This is the set with no elements at all. For example. The set of triangles with more than three sides is empty, because there are no triangles with more than three sides. The empty set is said to be a subset of every set, because there are no elements in the empty set that cannot be found in every other set.